Japan is a country I have always been fascinated by. Like a lot of people, my first exposure to Japanese culture was through movies like Karate Kid. He is quicker. Rule number one Karate for defense only. He is wiser. Rule number two Fast and rule number one. I grew up in Mexico City, so I didn't really know many Japanese people. When Japan started to seriously get into my travel radar was after watching movies like Lost in Translation. I wasn't doing anything, so I came along. What do you do? I'm not sure yet, actually. And Enter the Void. Who could resist such exquisite aesthetic? I love the extremes of exciting modern cities beaming with neon lights next to ancient temples. It just looked like a different planet. Our 15-day itinerary included Tokyo, Kyoto, Osaka, and Okinawa. As most travelers, our little adventure started in Tokyo. Alright, finally arrived to our hotel in Tokyo. Let's have a look at the view. Whoa! Pretty cool. Cool view. So it's about 6 a.m. right now. Uh, more like 5.30 a.m. right now in New York. It's uh, 12 hours ahead in in Japan. So we're wondering we might go get some food, but I got a shower no matter what. Nice stuff. Do we have a bidet? Oh, yeah, we do, because it's, you know what, because it's Japan. Good morning from Tokyo. Jet lag is super real right now because it's our first day and now we're trying to find a place where to eat some breakfast so first day in Tokyo yay breakfast um, thankfully it comes with a little English menu Few moments later. Oh no, what? Oh, does not change for this. More moments later. We just got our 
classic breakfast here in Tokyo. So that's some grilled salmon, some fermented, what's the thing called? Natto. Fermented? It's natto. It's called natto. Natto? It's fermented soybeans. Fermented soybeans. And so, rice. And this is raw egg. But I have no idea how am I supposed to eat it. Alright, so we figured it out. The raw egg goes over the rice, just like us teachers did. Thank you, Google. So, 530 yen, which is about $5, is what cost us to get this amazing breakfast. And as you can see, we absolutely destroyed it. It was incredible. I love how the streets are pretty empty when we got here last night. It was pretty bustling with uh, lights and people. And well, today is Sunday, so it's pretty chill right now. But usually, this place is bustling with nightlife. The jet lag of the first few days was physically painful. We took like a four, almost five hour nap because our bodies think that it was like bedtime or something. Um, and now we're just going to attempt to kind of hang out uh, in one of the alleyways here in Tokyo. One uh, that it's supposed to be a very um, atmospheric with lots of eateries. Not that we need to eat anymore, but we will because come on, let's face it. Where else is there to do while you're in Tokyo, right? This is going to make you freak. This is going to make you freak. The food scene in Japan is as good as you'd hope. We found a Jokocho, which is an alleyway off to the side of the main street. These Jokochos are mainly populated with easy kayas, places where you can eat and drink like a Japanese version of a pub. Some people also call these skinny bars. It's very intimate in these places. They can feed six to seven, maybe eight people inside.
Okay, but now let's go back to the Japanese food experience. It's not only next level in terms of fresh sushi, but have you ever heard of Wagyu? Okay, we were about to find out the most amazing experience when food literally melted in our mouths. Hello! Hi. Yes! Awesome! Yes, special beef. Yes. It's number two, top short rib. Yes. Okay. Three. Number one, top tender rib. Very, very high quality. Oh. Beef oil. Mm -hmm. Now it's maybe not hot, more two minutes, please. Two minutes. Two minutes. Cooking time is uh, 25 seconds, 25 seconds. Yes. Okay, Nine, total, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. Close the eye. Close the eyes? Okay. Slowing. Let's see, I'm excited. People only please, no rice. Oh. Or yes. Okay, no first rice. First time, first time. Okay, yeah, you're right. Just <laughs> slowing. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> How do you say... Excellent. How do you say excellent? Uh, oishi. Oishi. Yes. Mm. After this delicious mouth watery experience and exploring so many exotic, beautiful locations. Our time in Tokyo was coming to an end. Experiencing some culture shock with the language barrier, driving us to learn more Japanese was definitely a good thing. Luckily, we still have Kyoto, Osaka, and Okinawa to learn more about this amazing country. It's a sacred place. Uh, because the deities of the shrine are here and the priest holds prayer every day asking for people's wishes and prayers are answered it's a gorgeous tree So yeah, the metro is super good here. It gives you the exact number of minutes that it would take you to reach the next station. It is in English and Japanese, and it also gives you status updates in case there is a delay. So for instance, earlier today there was a delay because of a passenger injury. So we are now at the, um, what's this train station called? Shinagawa. Shina, Shinagawa. Okay, I can't say that, I'm sorry. Uh, train station. It's basically, I'm sorry to compare, but it's like Grand Central for New York City. All right. So we are now ready for our bullet train. This is very exciting. The ticket was about like a hundred and, uh, how much was it? Like 14,000 yen? which is about $140. It's like the fastest uh, method of transportation after uh, taking a plane without all the hassle of going to go through the airport security. The total time will be approximately two and a half hours. Are you excited about your first bullet train experience? Hi. That means yes. Here it comes! Nice! Please join me next week as we explore Kyoto, an ancient capital beloved by all, where entrenched traditions meet relentless 21st century convenience, 
I mean, there is a freaking Starbucks in the street. I bet you can't spot it. We favor the simple expression of the complex thought. 